Hey guys, this is James with Toro Tales. November is in the books. We have surpassed $32,000 for the year, uh, well beyond what our goal was of $20,000 when we first considered doing this. Um, it has been great. You can see kind of the rise in us uh, adding vehicles, adding vehicles, uh, the demand going up with the summer holidays, uh, kind of petered off with some things that Toro did, implementing deposits, as well as just less demand where we are locally, um, and then kind of r r rising back up through the holiday season. Um, we had to take a car off here, and we were on vacation for most of this month. You can still see we earned $3,374. Um, not bad for being in another country. So let's go ahead and take a look at these cars real quick. The Dodge Grand Caravan's not on there, so uh, it didn't count at all for the month of October or November. Um, still d debating on whether we're going to put that back on there or go ahead and pull it entirely. Uh, that's going to be a decision we make in the next two months, um, depending on what the repairs have to happen for it. Uh, actually, let me go back to that car. That car we did purchase for uh, just under $3,000, and uh, you can see it made that money back. We did have some more repairs, so we won't know if we're going to make money on this until after we sell it or uh, relist it back on the on the car. We did have to put about $1,200 worth of repairs on that car. All right, so uh, you can see that just, that, we did, that was from February to September that it was listed on there, and that's kind of where we made money on it at. The Dodge Grand Caravan, we started all off on this, um, which is a signature exactly one year ago in November. You can see that last, let me see if I go back to 2017, you can see in 2017 when we first listed it that first half month, it earned $300. In December, it earned $877. I was aggressively marketing this. This was the only car we had listed back then. And so uh, we were we were very aggressive with what we were doing on it. And uh, hopefully we get back to that number for this month. But back to this year, um, you can see that it has been honestly kind of disappointing from what we're paying on it. So we pay $350 a month on it for... Um, the loan on it, we still owe uh, 15000 or something, somewhere right in there. We haven't been paying anything extra on it. We've just been kind of seeing how it goes, um, considering uh, trading it in, getting something different. And, and uh, just because it it's been okay. So it had one really great month of $1,600. Every other month has been subpar. Um, we really need to get into the high 400s for us to make money. So there's a few months that didn't make any money on that, and there's reasons for it. We've we've still been able to drive it, but uh, honestly, wouldn't recommend doing going that route. Not for not for a van. We could have gotten for probably half the price and a few years older with some more miles. Um, big mistake we made on our part when we started out. I wouldn't recommend doing that same mistake. 530 though last month means it was profitable, and uh, we're hoping we got some bookings in it for for the Christmas holidays. So we're hoping that those. Uh, everything goes well with those, and we have a good big December to end the year off with. The Ford Escape 2009, this is a, just a straight money maker. You can see that it's making not much less than that car we, we got, and we paid, I think, just right around $3,000 for this car as well back in March when we added it. And you can see it has been consistently in the... Um, you know, mid 400s, I'd say, on average, with some highs. Last month was its actual was the highest month we had for it, $789. And there was a few days we had to take it off um, for our own personal use. So um, I love this car. I would buy 100 more of these cars and just scale this up indefinitely. Um, it has been such a good earner for us. So definitely like these small SUVs. They're... Uh, I mean, car companies aren't making cars anymore. There's a reason for that. People don't want to drive them. So um, unless it's a Mustang or a muscle car or something special, um, then it's not really the desired vehicles nowadays. Not saying that, that your 2005 Ford Tauruses can't make you money because I'll tell you, well, bam, five grand on a car we paid four grand for in 2011. Um, it's been great. So... Not saying don't buy these cars, but if you have the option of buying this car or a small SUV, I would go with the SUV every single time. Um, you can see the earnings as I kind of just run through here. High of 76. Um, last month, 372. It's already come back. We're already only a couple days into December, and it's it came back just uh, the other day with some, some money. Uh, so it's, it's a good earner. We like that car a lot. 
All right, these terrains. Um, these terrains we are, have leases on. They are matching matching leases. We got a heck of a deal when we got them. 165 bucks a month for uh, the blue one. This one's 175 dollars a month, and then insurance is another 200 for six months, something right around there. So uh, really, to make money, we got to break 200 dollars. And uh, you can see we always have uh, barely in some months, um, and then. Additionally, we have to pay for miles if we go over 15,000 in the year. So there's there's a bunch more kind of, uh, I wouldn't say loopholes, but there's just some more things you got to take care uh, factor into, mileage being a big one on this. Um, and if you're not factoring in the depreciation of miles on your vehicles, then you're doing yourself a disservice. You should definitely uh, be calculating those in. But you can see last month was uh, second highest month, just over $800 of 813 this car was actually a dollar more than our blue terrain, but you can see that it actually outperformed that car. And that had to do with the mileage allowed. We had less miles on this one. We were trying it out, trying a higher price for less miles, and people want miles. They're willing to pay for it too. Um, this one earned about $300 less than the, the identical car. Maybe people just like the color blue more. But uh, you can see for this one for the year, Forty-two hundred and forty dollars um, has been a really good earner. We probably would do these with these uh, leases again, honestly. All right, last one. This Scion TC is a piece of junk and it is making money. So this this car really goes to show you that you can make money on anything. It looks nicer in the picture. I mean, this is not a good picture. This is a picture we took from rental. There's the owners in the back, uh, the renters in the background. The door is open. Um, it's not really a great photo, but this one rents because it is cheap. It is the, one of the cheapest cars in El Paso, if not the cheapest. Um, and you can see last month, as I run through these, had a high in June of $800, um, low in August of $180. Um, October was good, and this last month, $305. So it makes money. It's not too much of a hassle, um, and uh, and we like it. So it's a good ROI. We paid itself off uh Depending on how good December is, it will almost have doubled what we paid for it in one year. Doubled, yeah. So we would have paid itself off and, and then enough to buy another car. And uh, it's been a great, great year for us. Appreciate all your guys' support. If you are interested in making this into a business, if you want to, uh, if you just like it and find this stuff interesting, then please uh, subscribe to us, comment, share these videos. Uh, we appreciate it. Um, if you are serious about making this business and you want to want to kind of take it to the next level, you want to have some personal reviews of your accounts, you want some some personal feedback by someone who has over 300 uh, trips and who has uh, kind of really delved into this pretty deeply. I've done, I've bought cars, I've bought paid cash for them, I've gotten leases, so I, I I can kind of guide you in where we what we like and what we want to do in the future. We will rent your cars, you know we'll. We'll come rent your car and give you a heck of a review if uh, if you deserve it. Um, all of that's available on Patreon, uh, Patreon, and you can click up here to do that. And uh, we really appreciate uh, our Patreon subscribers already. It means a lot to us that you're willing to support us in that way. So subscribe, like, comment, all those things that YouTubers say. We appreciate it. Uh, coming back from um, New Zealand was an amazing trip and great opportunity to kind of see how rentals are run elsewhere. You can't really beat Toro when it's when it's at its best. Toro is unbeatable. Um, as they say in New Zealand, kakite chur.